And everyone out there listening knows in their own heart of hearts that they have a job to do as well. And this is where we have to lose the fear, get in gear. Lose the name, last one, win the game. You got to stop worshipping Caesar. It's pretty simple. Render under Caesar that which is Caesar's. Let the dead bury the fucking dead. Fair? <laughs> Absolutely. How can we explain this to them? Uh, all these these things that are happening in in, this, in a very simple term. Uh, young ones need need special uh, help because they've been targeted more than everybody. You notice music is directed at them. They the Sony and all of these creepy corporations uh, make very very sleazy sleazy sexual degrading videos targeted at about 11 to 14 year olds um, and of course they want you in school you've got to have that uniform in school schooled in a state school uh, at least primary and secondary education of course <laughs> they know that you've got to get into their heads before the age of seven and then you know you can they're malleable and then of course you've got them until 15 and, and then they get a job hopefully a job in one of the corporations that the Vatican has set up so that they can <laughs> prosper in every single way. So these people, young ones, need to see that they've been treated like, they've been treated like chattel. We need to open their eyes. And these silly stories, people, young children have been indoctrinated and even though a lot of young children don't, don't even bother with those stories anymore, they still have been given false gods and false idols to worship. You know, all of those superstars at television, they've been directed to worship politicians and important people rich people are good you know they've got a lot of value they've made it in the world let's put them on the pedestal and make them role models um, sports people uh, so they've, they've they've replaced their own beautiful light and hero ship with someone else's hero ship you know created and manufactured on TV so we need to uh, help young children to see that it's all about them. It's not about what's on television and all of those glossy magazines and all that crap. It's about them and give them their power back rather than being controlled. And, and, and help them and also I enjoy giving young ones uh, tips about how fictional the, the, the fictional law system is. I mean I love shredding it to bits and I give them a lot of power by telling them ask questions when a policeman comes to you and is always asking what's your name where do you live where do you reside what are you doing where were you going what why have you got your pockets full of things what's in your pockets all of these questions ask questions back you can't go to jail for asking questions just ask questions you're not you're not obliged to it's not a it's not a um he's not a, a slave master you're not a, he's not your master you're not obliged to be forced to have to, uh, under, under duress, to answer everything that they ask. We have that ability too. We have the ability to ask, what's your name? What's your office? Where's your oath? Do you have an oath? Are you serving me or are you serving something else? That's how we can empower young children. <laughs>